Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am the Viking. And since we are getting closer to the Christmas season, I wanted to do a little something different by sharing the story of the reason for this season. The birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we are in Luke 1, chapter 1, verse 26 to 38, which is Jesus' birth foretold. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the, des of the descendants of David and the virgin's name was Mary and coming in he said to her greetings favored one the Lord is with you but she was very perplexed at this statement and kept pondering what kind of solitation this was the angel said to her do not be afraid Mary for you have found favor with God and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for this reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God. And behold, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son, in her old age and she who was called barren is now in her sixth month for nothing will be impossible with God and Mary said behold the bond slave of the Lord may it be done to me according to your word and the angel departed from her now could you imagine finding this much favor in God to conceive his child which is God rolled in the flesh which is Emmanuel God with us you would have to find so much favor in God that is a high honor and uh in, Ch in Luke chapter 2, we have Jesus' birth in Bethlehem. Now in those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited earth. This was the first census taken while Quirinius, I hope I said that right, was governor of Syria and everyone was on his way to register for the census, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house of the family of David in order to register along with Mary who was engaged to him and was with child. While they were there, the days were completed for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and she wrapped him in clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. 
and an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terribly frightened but the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold I bring you good news of great joy which will be for all the people for today in the city of David there was there has been born for you a savior who is Christ the Lord this will be a sign for you you will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger and suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased when the angels had gone away from them into heaven the shepherds began saying to one another let us go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has made known to us so they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger when they had seen this they made known the statement which had been told them about this child and all who heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds but Mary treasured all these things pondering them in her heart the shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all the that they had heard and seen just as had been told them now this here is the reason why we celebrate we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior we don't celebrate what it has become which is the greed stores making all these all this money this time of year and it's not about that it is about the birth of the Son of God so I hope you hold this in your heart and celebrate it as the birth of our Lord and Savior and not as a time to get presents I love you all stay blessed stay caffeinated and stay in your Bibles